At the time of my birth, the forest in the Abadea mountain ridge in Kenya was green, fertile, and abundant with the shrubs, creepers, ferns, and trees like the narrow tulip tree, East African cordia, and one of the most beautiful trees in the land, the blood-leaved croton. The rains were regular and reliable. The rivers provided plenty of clean water for everybody. The land supported good yields of maize, beans and vegetables for the people who lived there. Hunger was virtually unknown to most people. Unfortunately, this has changed drastically. Much of the original forest cover and other growth in the five forested mountains, namely Mount Kenya, the Abadeas, the Mount Complex, Mount Aragon and the Cheragan Hills has been destroyed. Drivers of deforestation have been logging agricultural cultivation and human settlements. In this historical imagery, you can see what the Mount Forest Complex used to look like in the past. All Kenyans depend on these five mountains for their survival. 90% of their water and 70% of their electricity is produced from the rivers that flow from here. The degradation of the natural environment and the lack of water were the key issues women mentioned to me that motivated me to start the Green Belt Movement. I realized the link between what their needs were and the state of the land and thought, why not plant trees to address these issues? More than 600 community groups across Kenya care for 4,000 tree nurseries that produce seedlings for planting. In Nikakanga area alone, local people have planted over 1 million trees in the past two years. Deforestation projects such as Gakanga and other sites shown here allow the communities to mitigate the threats associated with climate change. So far, more than 40 million trees have been planted in private farms, public lands, protected reserves and sites of cultural significance, and even in the urban areas. In less than two decades, these saplings in Gakanga will be full-grown trees adding to the 40 million trees that were planted earlier. This will contribute to the health of the ecosystems and will benefit the entire region. It's very important for us all to realize that the environment is not just an issue for tomorrow. It's an issue for every day. It's the air we breathe, it's the water we drink, it's the food we eat, and we can't live without these things. So we have to protect and restore the ecosystems with the communities to ensure a healthy future for our children.